Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool Spider-Man web shooting effect. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to record one long clip. Now you want your camera to be on a tripod, and obviously you don't want to be moving your tripod. And basically what you're doing is, as you can see right here, you're basically just having one clip. Now you can do the intro, whatever you want. But as you can see right here, you're having one clip where basically you're acting like you're grabbing the object. So that's the first part of the clip. And then you want to have another clip doing the exact same thing. But now you want to go over and grab the object. And as you can see right here, you want to just reenact the action. So you're doing it once with the um, phone, actually, or the case of the object um, right on right on the, as you can see, this cubicle right here. You want to do it, you're basically doing the action without the object in your hand, and then you're repeating that, repeating the same action with the object actually in your hand. Now what you're doing next is you're trying to match the actions. So. I want to make this very clear, this isn't a step-by-step -step process, this is more of an editing breakdown. So I'm going to do my best to kind of just break down how I created this effect. So the first thing you want to do is you want to match, you want to match up um, the different actions. So as you can see right here, I put, placed a marker right here, and I marked exactly when, actually I'll go ahead and just disable these clips. So as you can see right here, I marked exactly um, where you can see. As you can see right here, see this action, I'm trying to match the action. So the first part right here is I'm acting, I'm doing I'm doing that action without the object actually in my hand. Now I've labeled the clips clip one and clip two to hopefully give you a better understanding of how this works. Now clip two has to start exactly where clip one ended. So as you can see right here, clip two starts with the phone exactly right here. Now why start right there? Well look exactly where um, the first clip ended. I mean the, the first clip started and ended. So as you can see right here, here's the first clip. I'm grabbing the object and as you can see Here is the end right here. Here's the end of the first clip and then boom as you can see right here I have to match up the actions. So the first clip needs to end Exactly where the second clip or maybe the other way around the second clip needs to end exactly where uh, exactly where the first clip ends so it's just one fluid motion hopefully um, that made sense now what you're going to want to do is now you want to create a freeze frame so basically you take right here as you can see right here here's clip one I just duplicated it on top and then I just put clip one up here it's literally just a duplicate of this bottom one right here so let's go ahead and enable the clip and let's go ahead and just show you the real-time editor so as you can see right here as you can see right here um, holding so you want to go over here and click on hold right here that's basically just a freeze frame I've gone over how to create freeze frames in the past but that's literally what the top um, what the top layer is is creating a freeze frame now as you can see right here you can see okay well well the phone is now moving that's because this top part is a freeze frame so the freeze frame needs to be on top of this clip right here where you're doing the action but as you can see right here let's go over to the effects panel and there is a draw mask so I went over here to like 600 percent and let's head right here and I literally just use a draw mask and cut out the object and I use a little bit of feathering to make it look um, a lot more realistic and as you can see um, right here I just went ahead and keyframe this object so as you can see right here in the beginning let's go over here in the beginning of the clip I keyframe the position the rotation the scale and the anchor all this stuff needs to be keyframed and then you just use the right arrow key to go frame by frame and you're literally just using the transform tool as you can see um, right here and we're just literally the object is moving we're keyframing this this thing is cut out using a mask and then we're basically keyframing that to go to our hands and you want to adjust it to make sure that it pretty much ends exactly where the first the second clip um, starts so that's basically how you create it now what you're also gonna you're also gonna uh, as, you, as you watch as you can say okay well there's a problem there's two phones there's one there were, I, I call a phone just call it a box but as you can see right here there's two boxes how in the world do I fix that well as you can see right here here is clip two I took clip two and then I also used a freeze frame on clip two so let's go ahead 
and show real time editor. So clip two is a freeze frame two. And now basically what that does is as you can see right here, see this crop here, I went ahead and just cropped um, this part out. Now what you wanna do is you obviously don't wanna cut your hand off, you don't wanna cut your body off, you wanna go right to the place where this table is empty. You're using this crop tool that way. That way, you're base. So you basically, the whole point of this thing is a duplicate of the clip two. And as you can see, clip two right here has nothing on the table, and that's what you have to do. If you don't do that, what you're gonna have right here is just go ahead and disable this. You're gonna have two boxes, and that's gonna look incredibly weird. So as you can see right here, two different boxes. But if you hold, if you have a freeze frame of clip two, now you can also record another clip. But you basically just need a clip where there is nothing right here. That way you could just um, crop it. Hopefully that made um, um, a lot of sense. Now again, one thing to keep in mind is you can start the video however you want, and you can end the video however you want. It's all up to you. Now the last thing you want to do is you're going to want to apply a lot of motion blur onto the uh, motion blur onto the video as you can see right here look as you can see this this motion blur it makes it look a lot more realistic let's go ahead and disable the motion blur and as you can see right here it still looks pretty cool but as you can see right here there's no blur on the object just apply motion blur and as you can see right here there we go. We have created some motion blur. Now what you can also do right here is you can create a, a compound clip. Um, I will create a compound clip at the end of the video. Just this, you don't have to create a compound clip. What that does is I'm gonna now speed ramp it. Um, so you don't need to technically speed ramp it, but I'm just gonna do it for this video. So again, I'll do one more editing breakdown of how this works. The intro, you can do literally whatever you want. You wanna make sure that all these clips are, as you can see right here, one long clip. You do not want to move the camera. You want to pretty much stay put exactly where you were and just reach over and grab the object. So as you can see right here, on the top layer right here is motion blur to make it look a lot more realistic. The next layer below it is the clip one freeze frame. So basically you can just cut out the actual box or cut out the object. Below this, below this clip is clip two. Basically, you just want a clip where or you want a portion of the video. Obviously, you can't move the camera where this table is clean and there's nothing on the table. That way, you don't have the duplication of, of two boxes. And right here, the bottom clip is what you're basically trying to do. Let's start from this clip is you're trying to reenact it. So exactly where the first clip. So you keep going like this. And now you want to you want to begin the second clip exactly where the first clip um, started right there. And that's how you can do it. Add some music, add some sound effects, finish off the video, whatever, um, however you want the video um, to be. But let's just go ahead and select all of the clips right here or actually let's go ahead and select all the clips right here and let's enable the clips again and let's uh, select all of them again first of all you want to make sure all the clips are enabled and let's create a compound clip so let's go ahead rename it whatever you want we can create a little bit of a compound clip um, and now what we're just going to do is basically create a, a speed ramp so let's head over here um, and we're going to go fast times two and that's basically it. another thing that I uh, haven't mentioned yet is you obviously I put a color effect a color preset onto it um, uh, but that's basically it. let's go ahead and just trim this um, but as you can see right here let's wait for everything to render and let's go ahead and play the effect right here as you can see and there we go we have basically created a Spider-Man web shooting effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials almost every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, these editing breakdowns, these VFX tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. Peace.